Welcome to Module 7 of Using Educational Technology in the English Language Classroom. In this module, you will learn about how technology is used to help English language learners improve their speaking. Carol will start the lecture today by pointing out the connection between technology and speaking in the world today. She will then call on our speaking expert, Professor John Levis, for advice, Tim Kocham for discussion of technology tools, and Sinem Sonsat Hegelheimer for some advice specifically for teaching young learners. Be sure to check out the Speaking Resource Corner for readings, more technology tools, open educational resources for teaching speaking, and demonstrations of how teachers use some of these tools. These materials should prepare you to create a speaking activity for your learners. Our lecture this week is on technology for teaching speaking. I'll start by talking about the connection between technology and speaking today. We'll then meet our expert on speaking, Professor John Levis. We'll ask him why speaking is important for students and what teachers need to know about speaking. We'll also ask his advice for teachers and we'll look at how technology can help. To start, we should note that new technologies provide new ways for people to connect with each other. And many of those connections are maintained through oral language. Technologies for oral language also give teachers new opportunities for engaging students in oral conversation, as well as pronunciation practice. Two examples of the new opportunities for speaking practice that we find on the internet are pronunciation tools and conferencing tools that allow speakers to connect and engage in conversation. One great website for pronunciation practice is Youglish. It's a free website on the internet that allows students to type in something that they would like to say but don't know how to pronounce. They can type the word or expression and Youglish will find some examples of video where people are saying that exact expression. So, for example, if a student types in, how's it going? Youglish will respond with a video where how's it going appears in the stream of speech. So ask them, how's it going? Are you delivering value? This amazing context embedded text to speech technology seems to be exactly what students often need. English learners know how something looks in written language, but in order to actually use a word or an expression in their own speech, they need some help. They need the computer to provide them with examples, and Youglish does exactly that. The internet also provides lots of opportunities for speakers to connect with one another in different locations. So just like the telephone was an amazing tool of the past, the internet, with applications like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, are the amazing tools for speaking across distances today. But today's internet tools have some significant advantages over the telephone of the past. Today's speakers not only speak to each other, but they also see each other in video communication via distance. And perhaps most important is the fact that these communication tools are widely available to students around the world. It's time to meet our expert on oral communication, Professor John Levis. Professor Levis researches oral communication in English. I asked Professor Levis how he became interested in oral language. 